Hello there friends, Duke of Face Plays here. Thank you once again for allowing me in your homes. This is part 8, I believe it's part 8 of the Divine Divinity Dagger and Shield Rogue Let's Play. Um, yeah, in this episode for sure we're going to be killing a lot of orcs and wild animals on the map. So it's not going to be the most story driven episode, but I promise we're getting back to actually completing quests. But I hope you like it. If you like it, please like it. If you dislike it, dislike it. Please comment, subscribe to Duke of Hayes Plays and the regular Duke of Hayes channel where I'm currently documenting a weight loss journey. But yeah, thanks for watching. Color me a color, baby. Okay, I have to like cliff notes, cliff notes. But it would be nice to have a second opinion just because, you know, like I'm biased against my own stuff. And out of all my friends, you're basically the only one that still talks to me, not to sound like a whiner. Fortunately, what's the news? Thanks for talking. But, you know, I gave Miguel a hard time because basically his friendship is for sale. Which, you know, I'm trying not to be judgmental about that, but, you know. If it gets to the point where I have to pay one of my supposed friends $1,500 just to have them play a game with me, that's a little unreasonable. To me, anyway. But you've brought me a little more time, friend, and for that I'm very grateful, so... Rest in peace. <clears throat> Sorry, I slipped with the tongue. What I wanted to say was, good luck, my friend. You've got the wits to survive, I hope. Oh. And then he just leaves. Oh. Bottle of Jennifer. Jennifer's body. You know, I remember these dudes not being this difficult to kill. What's up with that? Uh, it's just concept art, I think. Is there a key somewhere? Like I said, anytime you see a locked door, there's always a good chance there's a key nearby or a switch of some kind. Lockpick failed. Man, you really need high-level lockpick to do some of this crap, don't you? You really know how to waste the Cialis, don't you? Okay, curse is a really good spell, dude. It reduces all their resistances, it reduces their chance to hit, it reduces the damage they take. It's a pretty gnarly spell. Oh. Okay, there's a lot of you. Let's calm down. Let's calm down a little Shall we, fellas? Let's calm down, fellas. Oh, my bow is almost broken. I am shattered! I mean, see, I don't usually like running in areas where I don't know what's in front of me or next to me or... Yeah, I want to say these guys are, like, not super duper high level. You do that. You do this. Man, what crappy loot. Is there, like, something special here? Usually, like, anytime you see these boxes just lying around randomly, there might be a trap door underneath or something. Either there's more dudes to kill up here. I think there are more dudes to kill over here. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm? Hmm. You have to be careful because this place leads into the sewer. And uh, you don't want to be going there quite yet. There are some pretty powerful enemies in there. I would not recommend going into the sewer at this current stage. There's no key anywhere. That just leads to the kitchen. I don't think there's anything actually good in there. Don't remember there being. Like on the mage, I um, I had, I was like, I got super lucky. I found a shield that had lock picking on it. I think I had a couple of items that had lock picking. So basically, I could open any lock I wanted because oh, there's a lot of them in this room. There's a bunch of scorpions. Scorpions. There's a metal scorpion in there, you gotta watch out, this thing is- Oh, I thought there was, anyway. They're pretty gnarly, the steel scorpions are. He's down there, Vernon. Nope, nope, nope. Oh, this dude's right here. Alright, alright, you win, I'll tell you everything you need to know. Who murdered the Duke? It was one of my assassins, his name is Saibu. And where will I find this Saibu? If you spare me, I'll arrange a meeting with him. Very well, I'll spare you. Where and where and when shall I meet this Saibu? He's in an abandoned home here in Verdistus. I'll mark the location on your map. I'll tie Saibu to wait there for you. I do hope you are shrieking truly or I'll be back for you. Okay, so you're supposed to go get backup, which I probably will do. Yeah, talk about Commander Ralph. If you go alone, like maybe, I've never tried going alone. Not really interested, if I'm being honest. Why would I willingly 
walk into a possible death trap. Oop, there's a lot of you. Man, I hate hearing those cats fight outside. Yay, I love missing. Yay. Missing is fun. Hmm? Uh, where's the money? I can't see it, honey. There it is. Three times in a row. Heavy leather B. <sighs> Withering curse, man. Three charm, eight con, 40 magic, three hearing compared to what? Watcher's heavy leather gloves, two agi, one vitality. I don't know, man. The agi is kind of important. There's a metal scorpion. Oh, he's going to walk right through. Steel scorpion. Oh, there's a bunch of them in here. Run. Yeah, those dudes are not joking around. What did that do? Oh, that's so lame, dude. They could have been so good, those items, and they were trash. That's the only thing that sucks about randomized stats is sometimes it's a good run and sometimes it's a shitty run. And the last time I came through here, I had, like, those gloves turned out to be something pretty decent. For some reason, I always think the dude is down here. I thought he was down here last time, too. Last time I was in this area. Yeah, going into the sewer is not exactly something I want to do because it's dangerous. I don't have any resto, huh? I have one. I just have one question. Yes, it's chowder related. No questions. I have one. Yes, it's chowder related. Free stamina. What if I do? Huh, the sound is kind of wigging out. It's like getting randomly louder. Definitely spooky. Hey, there's a key. Outstanding. Hermit's heavy chain, meh. Meh, meh, meh. Oof. Oh, it's because it was death blow. I'm like, what the hell happened to that guy? I think death blow has like a percent chance to like instantly kill the thing you're fighting. Which is cool. <laughs> no time for questions, woman. I have one. I think that's it. I could probably just fast travel out of here. There's no reason not to. So I'll just go ahead and do that. So long, suckage. <laughs> yeah, his inventory hasn't updated, so it's a pleasure to admit it. Why'd I come here? I, oh, I need to go to um, Commander Ralph. There's an odd fella called Tingolf. Tried to sell me goods. Dubious origin. Okay, well. I'll figure out how to do that later. Pretty sure it's a long involved thing where I gotta go down here and encounter those assassins and they're like decently high level. They must, they're like 25, 28, somewhere around there. I just don't like having to rely on poison weapon for everything, but I might not have a choice. Um, Dwarven bread in, and he's over. It's not here, it's like, it's over here. Further on down the road. I've discovered who killed the Duke. It was indeed done through the Assassin's Guild, and I found an assassin called Saibu who was commissioned to do the job. Okay, I have a meeting with him in Verdistus. Very well. Okay. Oh, you know what I should do? Um, there's some things I can do down here in the farmlands. Dr. Elrath. Find the supplier of Tingolf. Find the truth about Tingolf. While I'm down here, I can talk to Maria. Free Penumbra. All right, finding the holy weapon. Trapped friend. Little girl Verdistus. Cosmo from the cellar. How can I get access to the cellar? Doubt that. But okay, well I would still need a lock picking of like four or five. Bring Finnegan the lock picks. I'm not doing that. Kill the vampire. Philosophy of life. Looking for the missing boy. I already did that. He's the innkeeper of the Ducal Inn. Okay, I have to remember to do that. Okay. Well, Maria was down here. In this house, I... No. That's some damn good music, boy. That's some damn fine acting. Make it damn fine. I have exposed Malcolm. The Guildmasters told me that you are welcome again in Verdistus. They are deeply sorry for what they did to you and your family. Praise be to the gods. My misery life is over. Thank you, friend. So, it's good to do the right thing. Overall, I usually play a good character. Now, getting into the plagued areas, like, from here, it's not easy. You gotta sneak in through this house down here. Where it's not monitored by the guards. Control S. There are a couple of people in here that we can give those cures to. I think there are spiders in here, that's about it. In terms of dangerous enemies. But there are a couple people here who can be cured. So we have Cedric. Greetings. <coughs> I heard you were the one who discovered we were poisoned, right? Many thanks. <coughs> Sadly, the effects are still here. Um, you don't look very healthy. I'm dying, you stupid bastard. Here, take this. Fantastic. 
An antidote against the plague? Please give it to me. Oh god, thank you. Are you feeling better? I don't know. The burning sensation in my throat is gone. I need to rest now. What are you doing now that the gods have given you a second chance? I always wanted to own a little casino, you know, help folk enjoy an evening and make a tidy profit at the same time. The gods may hate gamblers, but the odds are always within the house. <laughs> yeah, sure. Level up. So control S. <laughs> house always wins. Nah. I get it, sir. I get it. You're right, sir. You're right. For whatever for whatever reason, if it, if you pause the game while you're trying to distribute stats to yourself, it like wigs out. I have negative one spirit res. How is that possible? Something giving me negative spirit resistance? Negative spirit res. That's not good. I don't want to be fighting liches with negative spirit resistance. That's not good at all. I'm gonna have to find a, um, or at least put in a spirit res rune. Okay, there's nobody in this house. There are two people that you can cure here, I'm pretty sure. Sarah, please leave me alone. I don't want anyone to see me like this. The plague strips away dignity as it strips away life, but it matters not. I'll die soon enough. I will not allow you to become another victim of this disease. I will find a way to cure you. You must be the one that discovered Dr. Alrath was actually poisoning us. <laughs> Many thanks. It gives me hope to be cured one day. Here, take this. I shall try it, though I have never been blessed with luck in my life. Take care. I feel my strength returning with every passing minute. It's wonderful. I'm heartened to see that you are feeling better. I owe you everything. You saved my life. I, who you did not even know, the gods must have sent you. Maybe, maybe. Definitely a possibility. Oh, right. It's because I have my identify belt on. Heavy leather B, leather gloves. Pretty charm quality. All of the possible stats went into Withering Curse 1, which is crap because Curse is just clearly better. 5 lightning, 5 poison, 10 fire, 5 poison. I mean, it has 5 charms on it. I need to start putting charms into my gear. It's the long and short of it, I'm afraid. This is getting sold. Keeping this. This is for later. Now, here's the deal. Probably enchant weapon. Probably enchant weapon. All right, well, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Most of the things down here are going to be easy for me to kill now. Not the troll hunters, but the trolls down here, the spiders down here, I can kill pretty pretty easily. I have to go back to Verdistus at some point. I'm not going into the graveyard just because everything there is level 25. Like, I don't know. Zombies are not hard to kill. It's just... Get you gone. I have work to do. Who's that? What are you doing here? It's none of your business. It looks like corpse dealing to me. Go talk to my companion. I'm too busy to waste time on you. What do you want, stranger? We got little time. What are you doing here? None of your business. Well, from where I'm standing, your activities look pretty illegal. Maybe I should tell the grave digger about you. Why, uh, very well. Maybe you're somebody we can trust. We're working for a necromancer by the name of Theleron. Why he needs special corpses, I don't know, and I don't care. You're delivering dead bodies to a necromancer? Don't you think there's enough undead creatures sampling around the world already? Theleron? Hmm, I know that name somewhere. You know, I think I killed him a while ago. You killed our employer? Oh, sod it. That means we're out of business. Bad luck, guys. If I were you, I'd put everything back the way you found it before relatives catch you mucking around with their lost loved ones and plant you here too. Huh. I mean, I'm gonna steal their stuff, so it's fine. It's just stuff that you can sell, I'm pretty sure. I don't think it does anything else. Now you let me know if you need a cure or anything else. Like, there is a lot of stuff for us to be killing and doing around here. There's like a bunch of orcs sitting in the woods. Troll! King. Mm, calm down, sir. Yeah, he puts like slow on you or something pretty nasty. Something quite nasty. Watcher's composite bow of reflexes. Eh, that's not that great. I'm telling you, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you, I don't think it's that great. Is there a dog around here somewhere? No, I thought I heard. Rumor has it there's a cave here full of like dangerous spiders. You should watch out. I'd wager against going in full hardy. They're really dangerous. Like the green ones aren't like too bad. But once we get to um the mutated one in the back, those are really dangerous. Those are quite dangerous. Like, they're only two levels higher than me, so they're not, like, too bad to kill. 
poison doesn't work on them, so you kind of so well about that. You control S, because I don't want to have to kill these dudes again. Last time I didn't really fight this guy up close and personal, so I don't know what kind of damage he deals. Treasure map. I think this is what leads to the Larian armor. The special, super duper secret, awesome Larian armor. It wasn't bad. Um, to be honest, I don't even remember what the stats were on it, but it's it's a neat little Easter egg. It was definitely worth doing just for seeing the content. Rumor has it. Just randomly in this cave, you know, unless you're super digi digilent, diligent about exploring. You might not know it was here. It's definitely worth exploring every nook and cranny. Just be... Be aware. There are enemies abound. Rumor has it. Oh, sorry. I thought you were dead. Okay, there are some... Troll hunters down here. Part of a quest. They're really high level, so you have to watch... Take care with them. Eh, <laughs> Able to snipe the kill. Again, a lot of your experience comes from just killing all these random dudes that are out in the wild. Well, for a second, I thought I saw 2,000 experience. I was like, no way, dude. It's just a little spider. No way. You're lying to me. Like, you're not guaranteed to hit. Like, your accuracy maxes out at 95%, but... I don't know. It's just so much faster, dude, compared to bows. No... We're not going to the dark forest yet. There's a troll king down here. There he is. Rumor has it. Let me go ahead and get my watcher's composite bow on. Buff myself. Poison my weapon. You can't poison spiders, so don't even try. Come on, equip the dagger, man. Well made helm. That's trash. So I don't know where you see this kid, but this kid runs up to you. He's like, Hell, my parents have been kidnapped. There he is. Right on cue. Help, help! What's the matter, little one? Bad man broke into our house. They beat mom and dad and locked them up in the sleeping chamber. I only just escaped. Thieves in your house? I'll try to help you, boy. Like, I for sure know that uh, the main head honcho guy is like 29 and his goon squad are 27, so... Um... You might have to pull out poison weapon if you want to do this now. You're not going to be able to get out of using poison weapon, unfortunately. Just because it's it's weird, like, from level 16 to 20, there's not really anywhere you can go outside of, like, fighting those assassins that are kind of close to your level. Everywhere else, like, the level curb kind of shoots up. I had the right of way, dwarf. Like, the wild animals that are around here, you can... Aw, oh, I didn't mean to kill you. Whatever you are. It's probably a rabbit or something. Now I have guilt. Yeah. I'm sorry. I thought you were an enemy. Don't stand next to enemies, because then you get caught in the crossfire. You get caught up in that. This is the graveyard again. This is where you fight Zombie Jake and all those other zomboids. There are some decently powerful undead in there, so maybe that's where we should go. Like the un like, there's enemies outside the abbey that you can kill. They're like 25. I don't know. It's hard to say how they intended you to do things but those assassins were the closest thing to a fair fight that we were gonna deal with but now that i have that dude's set of lock picks my hit chance is really good there's uh, an enemy over here aha might as well finish exploring this i guess click on that please thank you It's just killing all these easy enemies. Rumor has it. He's not licking himself, is he? Alright. Oh, shit. Yeah, see 10,000 experience? Like, these dudes are... Would not recommend. The fact that they give you so much is, like, crazy. Because they're not meant to be fought at this level. They're, like, 27. Which is weird because... I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it does make sense in some crazy way. Maybe in some crazy way it does make sense, but like, you know, you're used to fighting enemies of a certain level, and then you come down here where you're fighting 27 stuff. Orcs that you randomly encounter will be 37, 32, 33, like it's... There's no rhyme or reason. 
Like, at this point, they probably expect you to go to the castle and start doing stuff for Janus. Like, I think enemies inside Iona's dungeon are probably closer to level 20. Okay, there's like a... A key to the back door somewhere around here. Ah. Rumor has it. Control S, like you can free his parents without fighting the actual guy. Really, I could have sworn that that's what the key was, but whatever. Lock tight in the doors, as. Oops, very well, so it must be to this door then. There's a key in here, which I think is for this door. Come on, dude, like click on the- You're gonna literally go all the way around, man? Like, what the hell? Why is it that, like, the game cannot- is gonna force me to go all the way around? There's, like, traps right there, dude. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna die because, like, the game does, like- Oh, okay, you clearly want to go inside, so why don't I, like, you know- Who are you? What? Yeah, to get his parents out first. So, yeah, I must have to go- I'm still gonna take damage from the electricity, right? The electricity, Which is a lot. Who are you, stranger? You don't look like one of the bandits who locked us in here. I'm here to save you. You must leave at once. There. Now we can kill them. These clowns. Let me pick up this composite key. Don't know if it opens this door or if it opens that cupboard, but I guess we'll see. No, my dude wants to go all the way around, so clearly, I don't know, the pathing is stupid in this game. It just is. I've said it once and I'll say it again. Nah. The pathing is trash. Rumor has it, has it, has it. What? Yeah, this dude is a little gnarly. This dude is crazy. Well, that needs to be repaired regardless, but what's close to breaking? Oh, uh, my leggings. Rumor has it, has it, has it. The silver key. Destroyed heavy chain glove. Crap, crap, crap. I mean, he's gonna tell me to get the money anyway, but let me do the right thing by waiting for him to give me the go-ahead. Yeah, the only reason we were able to do that is because of Poison Weapon. If you're playing a warrior who is not using Poison Weapon, then, uh... Sensei Le T. Lord, welcome to the Archer's Guild. It is a pleasure to meet you. Sensei, as an army you, my lord. Ha, a tea lord with manners, how marvelous. But please, there's no need to use lofty titles when addressing me. It's no more my lord, if you will. We elves aren't as fond of titles as you humans are. I'm Elrodor, a friend of Xandalor. He spoke to me in my dreams and told me of you. You are the elven lord, the one Xandalor told me to ask about the animated scroll of the elven teleporter? Yes, your memory serves you well, tea lord. Can you tell me where I can find this scroll? I'd not normally trust someone apart from a fellow elf with this scroll, but the word of Xandalor carries much weight and demands great respect among my people, so I will trust you and give you the scroll. Why do you call me Tilor? Forgive me, Tilor is the elven word for human. I'm surprised, Elrodor. I never saw an elf with a beard before. Well, some of us seem to have some human blood in our veins after all. So this is the Archer's Guild? That's a little quiet. Not much happening around here, is there? Sadly, no, Tilor. Most of my rangers are out scouting the forest. There are many foul creatures sneaking around there of late. May I join the guild? I'm sorry, T-Lord, but we're not accepting new members at this time. Is there someone that can teach me to improve my skill with the bow? Our structures are on patrol. Please come back when the current crisis is over. Say about 50 years from now. You sell elven bows? Sadly, I must disappoint you again. We do not have any elven bows in stock due to the current crisis. However, there is a merchant I know of that may have some stock to sell you. His name is Givanario, and he can be found in the Dark Forest in Flu Nimble, to be precise. Flu Nimble, Dark Forest, can you show me the way? It's south from here. If you want to get there, be warned. It's not without risk. They're saying a lot about they're saying a lot of dangerous creatures infest this woods. I was able to save the parents of Timmy. Glad to hear this, human. Your actions show wisdom and cleverness. You would be a fine addition to the ranks of the Archer's Guild, but unfortunately we don't accept any new members. Okay. So Timmy, he did well. Don't mention it. Yes, but first, visit my mother for a few weeks. I don't think I can fall asleep in my house right now. Thank you for saving us. You're a hero. Thank you. I'm glad you're right. As a reward, you can take anything you want from the locked chest in the sleeping chamber. Unfortunately, its key is locked in the cupboard. In the cupboard, <laughs> thank you. All right, so I wanted to first get proper permission. So my conscience is clear. But I remember being able to just get whatever I wanted. I remember that. In the sleeping chamber. Yeah, there's not much, is there? You can kind of use their house and never come back here. If you wanted to set up shop here, you could. Just be aware whenever the final chapter is about to start that you should pick up all your stuff because uh, you're not coming back to Rivalon proper or Riverton or whatever they consider this area to be. Rumor has it, has it, has it. Yeah, there's tons of orcs to be killing in the area. 
like these I don't know what you would call these areas here but like these raised areas have like a crap ton of wildlife for you to be killing like if that's what you want to do like to get high level anyway it's not like I want to be killing a bunch of snakes and boars and bees and spiders but I mean if I want to get super powerful it's something that I have to do and I do like being powerful if you touch that gravestone you're gonna summon a bunch of undead dudes so be aware beware Billy Beware. I mean, Eddie, sorry. Rumor has it, has it, has it. Don't touch the gravestone. Now. I assume we can kill them just fine. I don't think it's going to be too bad. I know for sure there's a summoner in the group. You know, summoners are always annoying. Enemies who summon enemies are... Oh, I thought I told you not to touch that. Uh... Oh, let's calm down a second, man. There's a bajillion of you. Uh... Okay, so I have to actually right-click on an enemy. It doesn't just like shoot in their general direction like I have to actually right click them for a chance to deal AOE oh you can summon summoners huh that's always good truly truly annoying enemies dude I mean I killed I dispatched them because you know I'm actually strong it's not like the last time we fought them where I was woefully unprepared annoying asshole it's all about Running around the woods and killing everything. Let's see, like four shots to kill this a-hole with my bow whenever it's so much faster with my dagger. Toll dagger. I mean, it takes three hits with a dagger. To be fair, but hits that like are fast. I have all kinds of crazy procs. I don't know. I don't know. Like what level are these clowns? Trophies, three, two, I'm the troll king. Apparently I fought a vampiric ghoul somewhere. I don't remember doing that. Don't know about that. Corpses are only 21, huh? I guess that makes the most sense to go wherever those guys are. Fallen archer and fallen warriors. Fallen warlord is 17. These are 13, 11. So coming over here to fight these guys is something you could do at level 11. The warlord himself might be a pain in the ass because he's level 17, but like I said, there's no rhyme or reason when it comes to the leveling conventions in the game. You just kind of go where you can kill the enemies and that's pretty much it. But I think probably like off camera I'm gonna death blow on that dude. I'm gonna go look for runes and stuff to start slotting into my gear. I'm gonna start needing magic resistances. Especially if I want to go inside um, Iona's dungeon. Like the deeper part of Iona's dungeon, I mean. You're gonna be fighting a lot of liches. And like I said, your liches are dangerous. And going to the Cursed Abbey, we're gonna be fighting the Steel Warriors and stuff, and those guys are also dangerous. See, it's weird because these guys are level 9. So, there's no rhyme or reason. See, this is an elite orc, which, again, is level 37. He looks just like the other orcs. The main difference is if he attacks you, he just instantly destroys you because, you know, you don't realize that he's triple your level or something insane like that. Uh, Speaking of which, there's another one. Uh, I don't have any poison. No, my... Oh, well, I can't kill him now. That was my one way of killing elite orcs. That was my one way of doing that thing. Level 17 or 18, I think. Control S. Save. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go get more poison from somewhere. Qui-Gon. Winst. Ton 18. Um, one, two. Remember, unpause the game. For whatever reason, when it's paused, it like puts it into overdrive. Hold on tight, cause I'm pushing this gear in a oven dry. Mmm, needs more poison. The one person who sells poison is Tingolf, and, uh, I'm in the biz, I'm in the process of, uh, fingering him to the feds. Giggity. I'm in the process of ratting him out to the feds. Hey, summoners who summons summoners. So, wisdom, I think, at 18 is what I wanted, was wisdom 3. And then at 19, I'm going to get augment damage 4. Yeah, it's rough deciding where you should go, man. We could probably go to the Cursed Abbey and kill all the corpses. Maybe we can handle the steel, the steel lords and stuff. Cursed Metal Buckler. You guys know that you have cursed equipment? I wouldn't put that on if I were you. Just as a heads up, sir, did you know that shield over there is cursed? Maybe you could trick your enemies into using it, uh... If you keep going down, this is where you'll find the carriage. You'll find the carriage that you're looking for. 
See, I think uh, we're at 8% bonus experience. So for every 100 experience I get, I get 8 for free, pretty much. Every 100 experience I get, I get 8 for free. Ah, I see the light. What did you see? I see you, oh, free booters, surrounded by light you are, and I see trouble, a world of, a uh, universe of trouble. Tell me more, good woman. No, no, the vision is too strong, too overwhelming, I can't take any more. You're a sea of sorts, do you have anything to sell? Uh, she does. Oh, I kind of, resistance to spirit, I kind of want that as well. I don't know, man, I have enough dexterity for now. This is just hit chance. Like, Spirit Res would be nice for... 37,000 is so much, man. I have the money, it's just... Ooh, I'm also very cheap. As someone who's grown up without money, I'm very frugal. For sure, I want that Dex one. And the Spirit Res. It's gonna make fighting liches a lot more tolerable, bitches. Now we have to actually pay her money. Uh, tell me what you see. No, go away, the picture is too many, but... This is how you slot runes or charms or whatever. So let me learn Fade from Sight. Fantastic. Hit B. So click on that and let me put my Spirit Res, I'm pretty sure, and Dexterity. So now we go open Stats and you click on Offense. I have an 87% chance to hit a normal enemy. Still not 95, but it's decent enough. And I can buff myself further with like Bless and stuff to be at hit cap. But that feels kind of bad to have to buff yourself to be at hit cap, so I don't know. Oh, there's a lot of you. Hey, there's a portal stone there. What's up with that? Oh, I know what happened. See, last time I took that portal to this place and like it's dangerous. I remember. I remember. You see, where is it? In the cursed battlefield, I think, or something? Oh, lord. Not at all. Oh, Zoma LP, thank you for the follow. Thank you, thank you. Not interested in overlays, I'm not interested in stuff like that, so I hope you'll forgive me for being blunt about that, but uh, I'm not interested in buying artwork, thumbnails, overlays, but I appreciate your, your follow. Not interested in hooking up over Discord. You'll see whenever you're like me and you're a, uh, whoa. You know, three of you are Andy, two of you are Andy. You'll get random dudes in here trying to sell you stuff, which is cool. We all have to hustle, but I have to be firm about uh, refusing their advances. Oh, I'm only interested in the game? Okay. Well, that's good. It's a good game. Well, it, it can be archaic at times, but it's, it's all right. Oh, I know where I am. This is the Dwarven Forest. You know... Huh. I didn't even realize there was a portal stone over here that led me... Before I go any further, let's go back down here. Interesting. I don't know if I've ever walked on that. I just run around killing everything, so... I eventually explore everything and kill everything, so... We'll get there eventually. But yes, we were playing a sword and... Well, it's not really sword and board, it's dagger and board, survivor. Just because, I don't know, if you want to min-max in this game, having a shield gives you so many more potential rune slots and stuff. You can't really do wheel daggers anyway in this game, I don't think. Pretty sure you can't. In bow combat gets boring after a while. It has its uses though. Definitely has its uses. I also want a weight loss journey. And I have a YouTube channel where I'm currently documenting that. I'm 10 pounds down, which is pretty sweet. There are edited versions of this on my Duke of Hayes Plays channel where all of the uh, exploration is taken out of it if that's your flavor. And there's also like editing involved. So I try to make it funny and entertaining. Lord knows I try. It's one of my favorite games and also know basically everything about it. Is it your first time playing? No, I've beaten it. Like This will be my third time finishing it. I've beaten it a couple times. Uh, me, I like, I I don't know, I can't really speak for anybody else, but like I was introduced to the Divinity Universe whenever DOS 2 came out, so I was kind of interested in seeing how the series started, so that's what caused me to play this game. I've played through as Warrior, I've played through as Mage. Mage was like t top tier, except for those like last couple of bosses. Then Mage wasn't all that great, but the minute I started fighting those dudes that constantly cast Hell Spikes and go invisible or blind me, it was a uh, it was not a good time in, on Mage. That was the one part that sucked because like they have 75 resistance to everything. You'll see, I played through as a warrior my very first time, and so I think I got like this really nice weapon the first time around, so I was able to kill them pretty easily. It felt like, anyway. It didn't feel like it was too bad. And then when I was on mage and I saw that they resist like literally everything, I was like, oh, this is gonna be a chore. I don't think they resist poison, but I didn't know poison cloud. 
I started with this, I also played Beyond and Divinity 2 and still had to play through the original Sin games. DOS 2 is good. Uh, DOS 1 is really weird. Like, DOS 2 definitely um, refined all of the systems, so DS DOS 2 is just a better gameplay experience. Beyond Divinity, I didn't really like that you basically had to find your talent trees. I was not super stoked about that, but I didn't get super duper far in it. I got to the point where we escaped the dungeon and then we got to like, I don't know what you would call that place. The place with all the guards and you're supposed to sneak around and avoid the Hell Knights and stuff. I got there and I decided to save it till I actually go through and play it on stream. I don't like how nerfed magic is in Beyond Divinity. Well, at least it feels nerfed to me. It's like so expensive and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But yeah, once I'm done with this, I plan on doing Beyond Divinity and then... Divinity 2? Let's not do that, shall we? Let's uh, settle down, shall we, fellas? Okay, what are you? Heavy Orc? I can handle these guys, no problem. The heavy dudes are not a problem anymore. And apparently the, um, the drummer boy is not a problem either. Yeah, these guys aren't a problem, as long as there aren't any elite orcs around here, then it's pretty doable. Because I don't have alchemy, and that means I can't really uh, make my own poison. I'd have to go back to the cave. Minor mana, meh. Listen, honey, I'm only looking for... Only looking for medium runes at this point. Oh yeah, that's definitely doable for these dudes down here. Beyond was okay, but the bugs annoyed me how to work around crashes. I don't think I encountered like too many crashes, but I was more so annoyed by the gameplay. May well, I may knock on wood. Hopefully there's not a lot of them whenever we go through it. Rumor has it. Rum. Yeah, these dudes uh, are hella doable. Just have to watch out for those elite ones. Also the giant ones. Those guys are kind of gnarly. I'd rather not get hit by them. Run! Okay, so how do I do this? I do wonder. I need to hurry up and kill him and run. Or try to kill him and run because this guy hitting me is no good. That's no good. Like, the drummer has to die if I'm gonna try anything. Hey, let me use Bless. Grats for affiliate? Thank you, thank you. It was uh, a long year that took me to get to this point. Ooh, the fucking death proc, dude. You love it. The death blow. It was definitely, um, I don't know, the game that put me on the map was Vicious Cleaver of Snow, huh? Um, I was doing a bunch of playthroughs of KOTOR, Knights of the Old Republic. It's just on normal. Oh, shit, we can do the, huh, since we're here. But yeah, it's just on normal. I don't really feel like sweating too much. I imagine I could do it on hard, especially since I like to min-max like runes and gear and charms and stuff but like melee combat is already so rng and whack that i don't think i would have had like nearly a good time if it was even harder now i'm having fun because i got the lock picks that give me 20 agility so so now i'm hitting fairly frequently oh sorry you know i'm just out here fighting orcs you know sorry to scare you sir man that's like that death blow is pretty nice. Hopefully I roll a- well, I mean, I'll keep reloading until I roll a good royal dagger, or whatever it's called, noble dagger. Okay, calm down, fellas, calm down. Let me go ahead and click on this. Card has a lot of one-shotting enemies? Yeah, I imagine so. I mean, that's how it is in the original Sin games, too. If you're playing on Tactician, then, um, you have to basically know the rules of engagement when it comes to combat, and you can't really stray far from keeping your enemies constantly CC'd because if they get a chance to hit you, they'll just kill you. Like, Larian is kind of fair with their games. Oh, stop hitting me. Let's see, a giant heavy orc. Only I had poison weapon. Like, that Jin one shot me, even though I was level 15 and he was level 15, the Jin and Dr. Elrath. That dude is always a pain in the butt to fight. Doesn't matter what level I am. Okay, I missed him. Let me get this ready. If only I could get a death blow proc. Also, if only I had poison weapon. Okay, run. Let me repair whatever it is I need to repair. Is it, what is it that's almost broken? My tunic. Run. Bring in company, fellas. You better watch out. Um, let me hit him with curse. And let me buff myself. Ooh, the death blow. You gotta love it. Like I say, they're also really good with their sound design in this game. Some things just feel really good when you get a hit with it. Ooh, the death blow. But yeah, I have to remember that I have curse, and I need to use it more often. Well, mainly for those dudes. Run. 
Okay, let me... Sit still, dude. Okay, he's dead. Good. Good, good, good. Very good. I hadn't planned on doing this, but I, I guess I can. Minor fire res. I mean, I can sell it for a decent chunk. It's only the random elite orcs that you find around, like, the army camp over there. But now that I have curse, like I said, I should be using that more often to ha kind of help me kill these guys. Easier. Mm, nope. Ooh, the death blow. Speaking of Elrath, did you know how to heal all three victims? Uh, I didn't know that there was a third one. I healed two of them. I found two in their houses. If there's a third one, I didn't see him. I could still do it unless there's a time limit associated with it. I mean, outside of the time limit of going to the final part of the game, I mean. But I only ever saw two dudes inside the quarantined area. Hello, Dr. Elrath. I love you, Dr. Elrath. What? Oh, right, it's that guy who's pretending to be an orc, allegedly. What are you rogue not to let tell? Wait a minute, you're no orc. Don't attack me, I'm a real orc. I mean, I'm not a real orc, sorry. Uh, what did you say? You're not an orc? No, honestly, I'm not an orc, I'm a spy. My body was magically transformed to the shape of an orc so I could infiltrate their camp. I've never heard of such a thing before. Who transformed you? Maybe you've heard of Kisten Dalius? He was he who performed the transforming spell. I assure you, I'm no more an orc than you are a dwarf. Hmm, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. What did you find out? I've seen a huge orc camp a bit yonder to the northwest. They've got a lot of battle paraphernalia and plenty of food and supplies. And they're awfully close to the battle line. Look, I have to get to my talks. It's urgent. So then what are you still doing here? Trying to find a safe way home, dullard. Look, you're blowing my cover by just talking to me. Please, if, if, I've, you talk to me, sir. Not sure if it has a time limit. You need to steal a potion back if they delete their inventory then that's what the time oh you can only heal two people you mean because yeah i know that you only find two of the antidotes inside elrath's house i didn't know that there was a third person you could heal i just healed the first guy i saw and the first girl i saw and that was like pretty much it i suppose the extra eleven thousand experience wouldn't be too shabby but interesting i'll try to keep that in mind for a different playthrough interesting i kind of like that larian games allow you to do that a lot of the time like there's weird quirks like there's a similar quest in dos2 not super duper major spoilers but you have an option of giving a special item to somebody and you can quickly buy it back from them you don't have to actually steal it but you can quickly buy the item back from them and that way you can give it to another person as well instead of just the one person I kind of like how you can kind of cheat the system like that and they're okay with it. Alright, I don't want to go too far, because those shaman are quite uh, dangerous. Uh. They're quite uh, dangerous, sir. Uh. Well, they summon enemies, and enemies who summon enemies are annoying. It's my opinion that the those who summon other summoners are annoying. Yeah, I guess from here I'll go to the Cursed Abbey and see how I fare against those enemies. Shouldn't be too bad. You can also heal both soldiers in Alaroth. Yeah, I figured that one out on my first playthrough. I'm pretty thorough when it comes to exploring, so I was able to find the magic mirror and figure out how to solve the quest. That one was, you know, at least there wasn't too many tricks about that one. The fact that you have to steal one of the antidotes back is kind of like hidden knowledge that only someone who's mastered the game would know. What does this little piggy human want here? Ah uh, yes, I think I took the wrong turn. Just leaving. Oh, a shame. The wrong path and you find your death. Oh my dear, please let me go, please. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't want you to cry. Tell no one I make this one exception. Run along. Wait, sorry. I'm just joking. Okay, have at you that's funny i never actually picked that option last time oh this guy's kind of dangerous that's uh calm down sir curse bless man i sure wish i had poison let me run for a sec heal there's a curse bless ah heal myself okay you guys just regular crossbow orcs and i can just kill you to stop you oh you're a berserker you're a berserker one just a berserk sorry Okay, calm down, sir. You're being quite obnoxious. No, no, not lockpick. Curse. There. See, now that I don't have to worry about, you know, taking a bunch of damage from the peanut gallery. It's not too bad. Curse. Bless. Restoration. Done. Let's see. Yeah, these, uh, these dudes are special. Give me a second, fellas. That's the only thing I don't like about melee classes is all of the gear maintenance I have to do. What's almost broken? Come on now. Oh, it's my helmet. Hang on, fellas. I'll be with you in a second.
Hold on there, fellas. Give me a second now. I gotta repair my helmet. Orc veteran. Oh, yeah, this dude's not too bad now at all. Not too bad, not too bad. Um, there we go. Resto. Oh, watch out. Oh. Okay, Bless ran out. Reapply. Like, it's alright, but Mad Mage is just so fast by comparison. Like, it's fine and everything, but I don't know, man. I got spoiled when I played through as Mage. And I thought Mage was terrible when I first played it. Then I didn't realize what a fool I was when I went to melee. Okay, Control S. Save. This is 19. Home. Delete, delete, delete. W I N S T. There you go. Okay, one, two, three, four, one, check. Now I can equip that shield that that dude has. And I can roll until I get a good one. Level 19, so I need to get augment damage for. Very good. Control S. All right. It's crazy that there's just like so much experience killing random enemies in the woods. Quest experience is good, but man, you get a lot just from killing these random dudes. Oh, give me a second, fellas. Calm down, calm down. Gotta reapply bless. Done. Polished bearded axe of fire tongues. Well, that's getting sold. Death blow. Very nice. Very good. Okay. Reapply bless. They made a double cast, but that's fine. Ooh, free poison. Sweet, I'll take that. I'll have to save it for when I really need it. Or get alchemy at some point. If I want to get them from the mushrooms, I mean, I know that I can get it from the poison barrels, but... Okay, bless. Control S. I don't want to have to kill these dudes again. Ooh. I will say, man, Larian has really good sound design. I said it before and I'll say it again. It bears repeating. Like, their music is always fantastic. Well, from what I've been exposed to, anyway. I'll see what it's like in, um... Hermit's Fire Opal Amulet. Man. Man. Curse. Bless. Now. Let's see how far I can get without having to use Poison Weapon. I mean, I killed the last guy I fought. Oh, shit. I thought he hit me with that. Alright, sweet. Death Blow. I've gotten really lucky with that. Unusually lucky. I'm wasting all this good luck. But yeah, I, I don't know. I don't like how those dudes are like level 32, 33 or some crazy shit. Oh, come on, dude. Like, how many misses in a row did I get right there for you to be able to actually get the full heal? See what I mean? All the good luck went to that death blow, so I got like five misses in a row to compensate. Still haven't seen the shaman, shaman. Silver key. Very nice. Yeah, this episode's probably gonna be called Orcs in the Woods. Oh, speaking of shaman. Speak of the devil. Okay. Quickly, quickly, what's almost broken in my tunic? Well, seeing as how you summon dudes, I probably want to kill you first. Seeing as how that's what you do, killing you first would be a good thing. Enemies who summon enemies, you gotta love it. Sit still, sir. You're lucky I don't have freeze. Cut him off with the pass. Control S. Don't want to be doing this again, like I said. It's always kind of ghastly that there's human meat in here and you can eat it. I always thought that was kind of messed up. I mean, there's no guaranteed way of knowing that it's human meat, but I mean, it's next to a bunch of human bones. Oh, let's calm down, fellas. Please, fellas. I'll eat some of it right now, even though I have meat in my inventory that needs to be eaten first. Well, seeing as how I can kind of handle these guys now, I might as well do the explosive quest. Since I'm here... I've been sitting too long. Already 9 o'clock. Yowzers in my trousers. Where did that time go? Well, I mean, this is basically going to be my new streaming time anyway, so it's fine. I need to update my page to say that like 6 o'clock is our new starts time. 6 o'clock Mountain Standard Time, I mean. <laughs> Just because, like, well, because I'm doing a weight loss journey, a lot of my earlier part of the day is, like, one hour's worth of exercise, then I wait two hours, then another hour's worth, and then I'm done with exercise for the day. So, 
pretty much. I'm kind of busy before 6 now. And now that I'm editing my videos and trying to make them more entertaining for people to watch, that takes a lot of time. Combing through 4 hours of footage at a time and finding like really good bits to highlight or add funny sound effects to, which is basically what my editing style is. That takes time. A surprising amount of time, actually. I was kind of shocked that like two hours quickly goes by when you're editing videos. Now, if only I was getting paid to edit videos. At least not yet, anyway. Okay, so I need to kill the Berserk one first. Ooh, death blow. Okay, curse. Reapply bless. And let's get in there. Death blow. Man, that is crazy how lucky I've been getting with that. Lady Luck is smiling. Yeah, man, today I did two hours worth of cardio shit was it's not bad once you get used to it i can tell my endurance is going up because i don't get as tired during the first hour as i used to but the heat here in the southwest has not been kind whoa 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 settle down fellas give me a chance now nah. give me a chance now fellas Okay, very good. Yeah, so far this isn't too bad. So many enemies to kill. I found out the hard way that splitting arrow does friendly fire because I turned General Alex and all the soldiers against me by using it once. Well, that was annoying. Another poison, very nice. Very good. Bless. Maybe if you do a kill everybody run, if that's a possibility, you would use the friendly fire to uh, kill General Alex and all them. But I generally don't murder Hobo too much. In DOS 2, I kind of do, but I don't know, man. The allure of power is too strong sometimes. The allure of power bids me to kill everything that gives you experience. Okay, giant heavy orc. Let's see, curse. Definitely not getting death blow this time. Run! No death blow this time. I still have poison weapon if it really gets down to it, but... Whoa. Settle down, sir. Sir, please. Like, it's crazy how busted Curse is. As a mage, if I can get your spirit res to below a certain amount, like Divine Wrath is crazy. There you go. I was able to kill him without a death blow proc. It just takes forever. Just takes forever. Crap. Any keys over here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. This is no time to sleep. You know, I remember there being a key around here somewhere. Where was it? Maybe I'm misremembering, but they're pretty good about putting keys just lying around. Oh, they're fighting the bees. You know, that's the first time I've seen them actually fight something that wasn't me. Suckers, my kill now. The experience is all mine. Okay, back up a little. Dude chose to walk into melee range instead of shooting me with his crossbow. That's a skill issue. Okay, so I found one key. Mm. Let me switch over to curse. And then let's hit bless. Oh, this dude was... He must have been under-leveled, because he got destroyed. That doesn't usually happen. Just call me the one-man wrecking machine. Single-handedly stopped an entire battalion of orcs. I am the main character, after all. Troll S. I don't want to get too ahead of myself and then die to something like a fool. That's bound to happen, so... Control S, if you please. Black velvet, if you please. Tailored Cutlass of Fear has two... Th is that three? Three stun on it, huh? You know, it could be worse. Alright, time to sell my spoils. Oh, Jeff, I have items for you to sell. Aw, oh, man, even with Bless, I don't have enough strength to run. Uh, what do you have for sale, my good merchant? Oh, I can use that shield down there. I should probably try to roll a good one at some point. Hey. Oh, my favorite merchant in the game. All right, dude, give me. Give me, give me, give me. Leave, leave, leave. Click on the chest. I still can sell all these as well. I have, they're just here collecting dust. Before I get whisked away to the final chapter of the game, I need to remember to sell all that crap. Uh, let's put this in here. This should have been sold. I don't know why I keep forgetting to sell that. Let me move my strange dagger over here. 
All right, let me control. Let me quickly. Let me do this uh, anywhere that's like far away. So control S right here, and let's see if we can't roll a good shield, shall we? Uh, excuse me, I'm not trying to talk to you, whoever you are. Not trying to talk to you. Whoa, sir, give me some space, nah. Two strength, four agi, twenty magic. Ugh. It's so good, except for the amount of charms on it. Four strength, four int. Oh, it has five charms on it, dude. Fifteen fire res. I'm super duper considering taking this, just because, like, I don't want to be here. Like, I can just slot in an agi rune. It's not that big a deal. All right, so let's just let me control S here. Sucker. Sucks to be you, sir. Hey, all right. Now that the right answer. Mm-hmm. I mean, I lose 14 spirit res. I think it's because I put... No, never mind. That just was part of the shield. Oh, no, wait. It says mine is 14, so that's why I had negative spirit res on that. Let me see. Yeah, I was wondering why I had a negative one. 45 fire res. Now, that's what I'm talking about. And, like, the f icing on the cake, the five charm slots. Just saying hi. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Johnny. It's been a long time. I'm streaming at night now, so there's a better chance of you to come and join us again. How's your job hunting going? You know, I've realized that his name is Wint Sun and not Winston. That's, uh... <laughs> oh, that's really funny. Dude can't even spell his own name right.